So I arrived in uh, Zagora, checked into the camp in Palm Oasis, and had a little walk back past some of the touristy shops and past the, one of the famous signs that you'll see in Mara, and that's the Timbuktu in 52 days. And the sign refers to the camel trains that used to cross the desert in years gone past. There's something slightly off in the uh, translation, I think, as far as the spelling is concerned. This is the front of the Palace Asma. Beautiful piece of architecture. The woodwork is amazing on the doors. This is a typical palm tree, small oasis. It's on the edge of uh, Zagora. So I'm just taking a walk through the uh, the pine groves, and uh, you you look at from side to side, and and it's everything's made of mud, <laughs> um, which you know I can understand. But you do get the impression that if they do get rains, which they don't get very often, but if they do get rains, this place will be unbelievable. Um, I mean, if you just look, you can see it's so rough and everything else. It looks like they've had rain and it's flushed through here. Um, I mean, there isn't a flat piece of ground anywhere. It's uh, quite incredible, really. But on a day like today, when the sun's shining, it's a blue sky, it makes for a pleasant walk, that's for sure. So this is my campsite in Zogora, the Oasis Palmadi camping. This is a little sort of lounge area. You can sit here and enjoy a nice glass of Moroccan tea. I think they also serve tagine and things like that. So yeah, nice relaxing place. So for the past couple of days, I've been staying at this uh, campsite, the Oasis Palmery, uh, just outside of the center of Zagora. It's been a great stop. It's been cold overnight. I mean, it's been down to like two degrees overnight, although it gets really hot in the afternoons. It's a great spot because it's in the palm trees, in the little oasis, but uh, it means that we don't get the sun until probably late morning. Then in the afternoon, obviously, it's, it's brilliant, but uh, very friendly staff. As I say, very friendly owners and staff. This is my spot, and you can see they actually provide uh, a table and a carpet and a chair, so it's really, yeah, it's really a good place. landscape really is lunar-like. My goodness, it was cold last night. Um, I woke up this morning feeling pretty cold. <laughs> and when I looked at the uh, thermometer, it was actually only reading zero degrees inside the van. So yeah, it was pretty cold last night. I can remember going back uh, a good number of years ago in Morocco, talking to a local and, he, and we were talking about you know, the sun and the warmth and everything else for the winter. And he said, no, 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 no. He said, Morocco is a cold country with a hot sun. And I think that's probably true because without the sunshine, this place will be absolutely freezing. Another super overloaded truck. <laughs> Okay, so this is the road track that I've taken cross country. And if I pan around, you can see 
Apart from the road, there is absolutely nothing. We are in the middle of nowhere. I haven't passed through a village or a small town for at least probably 45 minutes. Just surrounded by mountains. There's the camper, but bizarrely, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> there is a football field. It's all been flattened and you know, graded, gold posts at either end. I mean, <laughs> is that bizarre or is that bizarre? Just literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, I've taken a road that doesn't appear on the maps and it's certainly not on the GPS. Um, but I've decided to make my way across country to Tafro, but rather than take the, uh, the normal roads, uh, I decided just to take uh, a track stroke road <laughs> across country. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that um, it will actually take me to where I want to go. So as you can see, um, there's not a lot. It's not a bad road actually, it's Sarmac, so uh, it's obviously an established road, even though it doesn't appear really on the map very much. Um, but yeah, I am out in the, the uh, wilderness once again. I haven't seen a car in a long time, that's for sure. Some amazing rock formations. Dust is one of the biggest problems on these type of tracks. Everything is so dry. So it kicks up the dust. Absolutely gets everywhere. The inside the camper is absolutely covered in dust. This is the uh, the track I'm following, and it literally is a track. <laughs> Pretty uh, rutted, corrugated. Okay, well I'm going to take what looks to be a possible detour, but it's a bit rough ground. Let's just see if I can get through. I don't think this is the sort of place that you would uh, find very easily in a motorhome. I think if it's a van, maybe, it's okay. But uh, I think in anything else, it could be, uh, could be a problem. Well, that seemed to work. But at least we're through, that's the main thing. And we can continue on. But this is all part of the fun, really. Um, you, know, you come to somewhere like Morocco, um, and it's just good to be able to get off the normal roads, um, and go adventuring really um, and this is what it's all about the only thing um, <laughs> I'm a bit regretful of is the fact that I didn't get any bread for lunch before I left and got onto this track so I don't think I'm going to go through many villages okay so I finally come into a small village I'm back on tarmac I don't know how long it will last but uh, there we go so just as I thought uh, I wasn't going to find anywhere, I did find a very small shop. A little old man sitting behind the counter and he did have some bread. So I've managed to buy myself a loaf of bread or a Moroccan round flat loaf. And uh, so I'm going to stop shortly and have a bit of lunch. So after my uh, wilderness travels this morning, <laughs> um, I did manage to find uh, the tarmac again. And I did go through a very small village, picked up some bread, which was good. And I just stopped for lunch. So uh, about 30 kilometres from uh, Tafro, so not too far, tiny villages that you come to. Some of the old housing that's crumbled and obviously being replaced by newer places. I'm on the road to uh, Tafro, too far to go now, but this is the road I'm taking and it goes up and over the mountains. As 
you can see. Twist up and up and up. Lots of switchbacks. I'm just entering Tafro, which is situated obviously in the mountains, but one of the features of this area are these huge boulders that you see. And these look quite large, but if I pan around the other way, you can see that some of them are actually huge. Some of the biggest ones I've seen today, these ones. restaurant where you can get uh, various things as you can see tagine brochettes omelettes so yeah it's a really nice little camp actually I have stayed here a few times over the years but uh, yeah and this is the outlook from the camp as you can see we're surrounded by the mountains it's quite a beautiful spot it really is So times have definitely changed because when I was here last time, which was back in 2020, this whole area was packed with campers while camping. There is another area a couple of hundred metres along the road where people are still while camping, but why this particular area is no longer being used, I'm not really sure. But this is the area where lots of people are wild camping, as you can see. But with the service point closed, I'm not quite sure what they're doing with their black waste or get in their fresh water I mean quite frankly for where I am in a campsite at three pounds 25 a night all in including electric it's not even worth camp wild camping really is it I've got Wi-Fi and everything where I am so yeah okay so one of the reasons that uh, I came to the campsite here Taza because I wanted to get the roof panel painted on the van. I do a good job here for reasonable money. So this is a chap that's come to do the preparation. Once it's all prepared, I'll be off down the paint shop for them to do the spraying. see this is a popular place for people to come there's always half a dozen or more campers parts up opposite the workshop get in touch up paint complete resprays even so campers now all covered prepped and I'm just now waiting for the paint to be applied. But you probably wouldn't get away with uh, spraying outside like this in the UK. They are using cellulose though and there were two huge great camper vans or motorhomes actually in the workshop so you couldn't get in there. So the painting all done, I'm ready to go, ready to get back on the road again. Just to show you that uh, Morocco is not always hot and sunny. Today it's really overcast and cloudy, it's spinning with rain actually. Maximum temperature today is said to be 8 degrees and it should go down to minus 1 overnight tonight. So yeah, Morocco is not always hot and sunny. So join me next time as I venture out from Tafru to see the painted rocks and then continue my journey across the country eastwards towards the desert and Medzorga. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to uh, Click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Much appreciated. See you on the next one.